Look, can we talk for a moment? I need to tell you something. I um, should probably have told you earlier. I don't know. I doubt it. I've never liked it, that's for sure. I told you before how Al Eamon raised me, right? That my mother was a serving girl at the castle and he took me in? The reason he did that was because, well, because my father was King Marek, which made Kaelin my half-brother, I suppose. Ha! Yes, I guess it does at that. I should use that line more often. I, I would have told you, but it never really meant anything to me. I was inconvenient, a possible threat to Kaelin's rule, and so they kept me secret. I'd never talked about it to anyone. Everyone who knew either resented me for it or they coddled me. Even Duncan kept me out of the fighting because of it. I didn't want you to know as long as possible. I'm sorry. Why wouldn't he? He was King Marek's best friend. I don't know if that means anything, though. I certainly never considered the idea that it might ever be important. At any rate, that's it. That's what I had to tell you. I thought you should know about it. Oh, no. No, I don't like the sound of that, if that's where you're going. It was made very clear to me early on that there's no room for me on the throne. And that's fine by me. No, if there's an heir to be found, it's Al Eamon himself. He's not of royal blood, but he is Kaelin's uncle, and more importantly, very popular with the people. Though, if he's really as sick as we've heard... Oh, no, I, I, I don't want to think about that. I really don't. So there you have it. Now can we move on? And I'll just pretend you still think I'm some nobody who was too lucky to die with the rest of the Great Wardens. Oh, lovely. I'm going to regret this somehow. Just know it. I thought I saw travelers coming down the road, though I scarcely believed it. Have you come to help us? So you... you don't know? Has nobody out there heard? We heard news about the king and all the fighting. That was before everything started here. We're under attack. Monsters come out of the castle every night and attack us until dawn. Everyone's been fighting and dying. Apparently everyone seems to agree that a blight is the perfect time to start killing each other. Marvelous, really. We've no army to defend us. No Arl and no king to send us help. So many are dead. And those left are terrified they're next. Hold on, what is this evil that's attacking you? I, I, I don't rightly know. I'm sorry, nobody does. I should take you to Ban Tegan. He's all that's holding us together. He'll want to see you. Ban Tegan, our Lehman's brother. He's here. Yes. It's not far, if you'll come with me. And who are these people with you? They are obviously not simple travelers. No, my lord. They just arrived, and I thought you would want to see them. Well done, Thomas. Greetings, friends. My name is Tegan, Ban of Rainersphere, brother to the Arl. I remember you, Ban Tegan. Though the last time we met, I was a lot younger and covered in mud. Covered in mud? Alistair? It is you, isn't it? You're alive! This is wonderful news! Still alive, yes. Though I'm just as surprised about that as you are, believe me. Indeed. Loghain would have us believe all Grey Wardens died along with my nephew, amongst other things. That Loghain pulled out his own men in order to save them. That Caelan risked the entire nation's safety in the name of glory. Loghain calls the Grey Wardens traitors, murderers of the King. 
I don't believe it. It is an act of a desperate man. So you are a Grey Warden as well. A pleasure to meet you. I wish it were under better circumstances. You're here to see my brother. Unfortunately, that might be a problem. Eamon is gravely ill. No one has heard from the castle in days. No guards patrol the walls, and no one has responded to my shouts. The attack started a few nights ago. Evil things surged from the castle. We drove them back, but many perished during the assault. How pointless to help these villagers fight an impossible battle. One would think we had enough to contend with elsewhere. Thank you. Thank you. This means more to me than you can guess. Thomas, please tell Murdoch what transpired. Then return to your post. Yes, my lord. Now then, there is much to do before night falls. I put two men in charge of the defense outside. Murdoch, the village mayor, is outside the Chantry. Sir Perth, one of Eamon's knights, is just up the cliff at the windmill, watching the castle. You may discuss with them the preparations for the coming battle. Of course. I have those few who returned from their quest. You know of this, yes? Yes, I question Isolde's decision to send so many knights in search of this relic. But I am a practical man, whereas she is a woman of great faith. Sir Perth was one of the knights sent on this quest. Perhaps you should speak to him if you wish to learn more. Sir Perth insists. He wants me to be with the villagers, so everyone he needs to protect is in one place. I don't mind, to be honest. The point of all this is to protect the villagers, and I can do that best here. This is the last line of defense, should things go amiss. We could bring some men in to stand beside me, but I'd rather keep the monsters away from the villagers if possible. Hopefully we can find the source and stop it before it causes any more damage. With luck, we'll also find Eamon and be able to help him. I do not know. They seem to be walking corpses, men with rotting flesh that continue to attack even with the gravest injuries. Undead? Spirits possessing the dead. There could be several causes behind such a thing, none of them pleasant. Very well. Luck be with you, my friend. I'm scared, Mother. I'm so scared. I'm sorry. Am I bothering you? I'll, I'll try to be more quiet. Those... those things dragged my mother away. I don't know what happened to her, but I hear her screaming all the time, everywhere. How terrible, you poor thing. I wish there was something we could do to help. And now my brother Bevan, he, he ran off. I, I don't know where he is. I'm so scared they got him too. You will. Thank you so much. Please find him. Silence, girl. Do you want the children to hear you? But night is coming. The monster. Walking toxin. Still no sign of them coming back from the castle, Murdoch. Show them to me. Go away. This isn't your home. This is my home. My home, you hear me? How... How do you know my name? Did... Did she tell you to take me back to the Chantry? Don't make me go back there. I hate that place. I hate it. Maybe. But she just tells me not to be scared, even though she is. She tells me not to be sad, but she keeps crying because Mother died. I... I don't want to be sad. I'm brave. I'm going to be a hero. I'm going to fight them off. I will. No. No. I just heard you coming and... I guess that's not very brave of me, is it? I'll... I'll come out now. All right, I came out. You won't hurt me, will you? I'll go back to the Chantry if you really want.
I just didn't want to be at the Chantry anymore. Everyone's scared, and I want to be brave. I... I can't tell you. It's a secret. You could. All right, I guess. I just... Father said I could have his sword when I grew up. It was Grandfather's. And Grandfather was a great dragon slayer. I thought... If I was brave like Grandfather, I could use his sword and... Kill the bad people who took Mother. Thank you, sir. But the sword is too heavy for me. I... Guess I'm not as strong as someone like you. That doesn't help us now. Caitlin says everyone's going to die tonight. Yes, sir. But I... Oh, all right. I guess she'll be pretty mad at me. But I'll go. Right, let's get started. You know, maybe this isn't the best time to be thinking about this, but I have something to ask you. Chances are we'll be heading to dinner room soon. And when we're there, I wonder if we might be able to look someone up. I'm not talking about a friend, exactly. And no, it's not that sort of friend either. The thing is, I have a sister, a half-sister. I told you about my mother, right? She was a servant at Redcliffe Castle and she had a daughter. Only, I never knew about her. I don't think she knew about me either. They kept my birth a secret after all. But after I became a great warden, I did some checking and, well, I found out she's still alive in Denerim. No. I thought about writing her, but I never did. And then we were called down to Ostagar, and I never got the chance. She's the only real family I have left. The only family not also mixed up in the whole royal thing. I've just been thinking that maybe it's time I went to see her. With the blight coming and everything, I, I don't know if I'll ever get another chance to see her. Maybe I can help her. Warn her about the danger, I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't know anything about her except her name and where she lives. Her name is Goldana, and I think she remarried but still lives just outside the alienage. If we're in the area, then, well, it's worth a look. Bevan said you were the one who found him. I can't possibly repay you. You are very sweet. I... I suppose there's no harm in it. Blech. You're a, a kind and generous man. Please, be safe tonight. May the Maker watch over you. Um, hello again. I found my sister. Right. No, we don't have the memory. So you're the Grey Warden, are you? I heard they all died with the King. Huh. If it takes a ghost or two to kill a horde of evil monsters, I'll take it. But you look plenty alive to me. We aren't gonna turn aside anyone who wants to help, though. Don't take me for being an ingrate or nothing. Well, we do want to help however we can. You can trust us. 
Name's Murdoch, mayor of what's left of the village, providing we aren't all killed and hauled off to the castle tonight. I... I hope you're right. I've been trying to hold us together, but it isn't easy. Anyhow, you're here, and they tell me you're in charge. We need what little armor and weapons we got repaired, and quickly, or half of us will be fighting without either. Owen's the only blacksmith who can do it, but the stubborn fool refuses to even talk. If we're to be ready for tonight, we'll need that crotchety bastard's help. His daughter, Valena, is one of the Alessa's maids, so he hasn't heard from her since this whole business started. He demanded we attack the castle, break down the gate, and force our way in. I said it was impossible, but he wouldn't listen. He's locked himself in the smithy now. I can't force him to do repairs. He said he'd rather die first. I'd appreciate it. If he doesn't help, he'll die like the rest of us. What good will that do anyone then? This should Go be easy away. Curse you! Leave me in peace! They've already taken everything out of my stores. There's nothing left. Huh? Who is that? What do you want? I've been through enough. Hmm? All right, all right. Let me undo the locks. All I ask is that you don't make any trouble. Make his breath. What is that smell? It's like someone set a brewery on fire. Somebody's been drinking. So I let you in. You wanted to talk. Now we're talking. Mind telling me who you are? The Grey Warden, is it? <laughs> it takes all kinds. Funny you didn't sound like an elf through the door. Can't say I expected that. Anyhow, my name's Owen. Though you might already know that. Care to join me as I get besotted? Or is there something in particular you wanted? My girl, Valena. Is one of the Alessa's maids and she's trapped up there in the castle but the mayor won't send anyone for her. She's been my life since my wife passed on two years ago. Now she's dead. Or soon to be. I don't care what happens to me or the village or anyone! I'm an old man. Everyone knows we aren't making it through the night. Or are you going to save us? Is that so? Hm. Maybe it's the drink talking, but you almost sound like you believe that. It'd do me the world of good to think maybe someone like you could go in and find her. Provided any of us live through the night. If you look for Valena, I'll reopen the smithy and make some repairs for the militia. I can do that much. Not good enough. Murdoch said the same damn thing. And I didn't believe him, either. You were asking a great deal, you wretched little man. I want to promise. Promise me that you'll look for her. That you'll bring her back to me if you can. I'll accept that. It's something to hope for, at least. Oh, lovely. Shall we next begin rescuing kittens from trees? Right, then. It seems I have some work to do, relighting the forge, and I suppose I'll have to find some iron. Hmm, maybe at the mill. Oh, Murdoch just better send his men here as soon as possible if I'm going to get to all these repairs and get them done by nightfall. If you need anything done, well, just let me know. I've got a lot to do now, so you'll have to excuse me. Well, it looks like Owen's finally doing the repairs we need. 
The damn fool is falling over a drunk and still manages to make smithying look easy. Good enough, I say. I'll inform Bantigan the militia is ready to fight. We'll give those bastards a welcome they won't soon forget. We could use some extra bodies. Having a veteran like Dwin in the militia would help a lot, but he flat out refuses. He's a trader, a dwarf, lives near the lake, locked himself up in his home with some of his workers, he has. Says he doesn't need any of us. We could use somebody with his fighting experience, but he won't come out. I have a good feeling about tonight. Wonderful. Intruders. I hope you have a good reason for breaking and entering into my home. You know what? In the interest of keeping my face from bursting into flame, I think I will. The name's Dwin. Pleased to meet you. Now, kindly tell me why you're here. So what? You recruiting for him? I'll tell you what I told Murdoch. I'm not risking my neck for this town. Thanks. But I'll take my chances in here. Everyone else can run around in the open waiting to die. So, that's what it comes down to, huh? <laughs> Fine. I'll go. If you want me out there so badly. <laughs> Spoken like someone who doesn't know me very well. Go tell Murdoch he won. And I better see you out there in the square when those creatures come. Repairs are underway surprisingly quickly, considering how drunk Owen is. We may just make it. Thanks for persuading him to come out here. He's going to be a great help. I just know it. There's not much time before sundown. The men's spirits are high for now. Far better than I expected, to be honest. Dwin's presence makes the men a bit more confident. It helps to know a veteran is on our side tonight. Since you convinced Owen to start repairs, we're pretty well armed now. That is a relief, let me tell you. 
Overall, I'd say the militia's very ready to fight. Never thought I'd say that, but there you go. Is there anything else? I have a good feeling about tonight. Stop fidgeting. I can't believe Lloyd won't even give us some free ale. A time like this, and all he thinks about is turning a profit. Did you expect any different? That bastard's always been cheaper than an antique from the hall. Here we are defending the village, and he don't even have the decency to help us out. I was drunk for the last two fights, and I wouldn't have it any other way. If you fought those things, you'd know. Lloyd is charging us for coin we don't even got anymore. Nobody's working right now. We're all just trying to survive. Ah, what difference does it make? He won't care. Another doomed soul come to drown their sorrows here, I see. If you came here for a drink, you'd have to talk to Lloyd. He's got a vice grip on the spigots. I'm just here to keep the boys from mutiny. Not much. He's very quiet. Says his name's Beric and he's here to meet his brother, but I think he's lying. He's a bit... creepy. Later on, yes. Lloyd will lock himself in the cellar, and I'll go to the Chantry. Are you... fighting tonight? That's... good to hear. I didn't know that. What business? Without the castle soldiers, the only customers we have are local. And they're all in the militia with no money to spend. The few with any money are here, but it's not enough to justify working. Lloyd's a greasy pig. And if I didn't need this job so badly, I... Oh, you think I'm pretty, do you? You mean after the fighting's over? I'd really like that. What would I have to do in return? You're a rare one, you are, making me laugh with this blackness hanging over our heads. That's what the Grey Wardens are all about. Amusing people. I'll tell you what, sweetie. You make it through the night, and you'll get your kiss. Make her bless you. I'll kiss every man in the village if we survive! Hurrah! Three cheers for Bella! Keep safe. Hello there, friend. Can't say we've ever met before. Stranger to the village, I take it. Haven't had many travellers lately. All this nonsense is bad for business. Bet you regret coming, yes? Brave words. Brave words. Well, we'll see when night falls, won't we? So, what'll it be? You are here to drink, I hope. Why shouldn't I? They may not have much coin, but I'm not giving it away for free. Hey, there's no need for that kind of talk. That's murder. Hey, look, see, 80 silvers. I could pay you to uh, protect me. There's no need for any unpleasantness. I, uh, thank you, my lord. Most kind of you. I'm not abandoning my tavern because of a few monsters. The second I'm in the Chantry, Murdoch and his men will be here drinking all my ale. Not much. Says his name's Berwick. Arrived here more than a week back. Waiting for his brother, he says. I've never seen him before, but he paid good for his room. Quiet sort. And, uh, have a nice day. Uh, yes? You needed something else? Why shouldn't I? They may not have much coin. I, I never thought of that. Hmm. Maybe I could try it for a bit. 
Right then, you men over there. Drinks are on the house. All militia drink for free. Oh, you're a saint, Lloyd. Ha <laughs> ha! If them creatures don't kill me, I swear they'll bleed me dry. Something else I can get for you? Right, I've got some supplies too, in case you're interested. With the store closed down, it doesn't hurt to pick up some of the slack, eh? Not looking for company. And that's all we have in common. I'm not here to talk. There's something about this man's demeanor. I... Uh, I don't know. I have no idea what you're talking about. But you do, don't you? I know spy when I see one. Look, just because you're an elf doesn't mean we should be friends. I was just told to... I mean, just leave me alone. Nothing! Nobody told me to do anything. Just because you're a Grey Warden doesn't mean you can go around threatening people. I... I'm not here to hurt anyone, I swear. I'll tell you what you want to know, just don't kill me! This is more than I bargained for. Look, they just paid me to watch the castle and send word if anything should change. But they never said anything about monsters. I haven't even been able to report anything since this started. I'm stuck, same as you, I swear! A tall fellow, I forget his name. He, uh, said he was working for Hal. Arl Rendon Hal. He's an important man, Terran Loghain's right hand. So I didn't do anything wrong. Just to report any changes. Honest. All I could send word about was the Arl getting sick. After that, monsters started coming from the castle. I don't know anything about these creatures. When the Arl got sick, I got scared that people would think I was involved. But I swear I don't know anything about it. They sent me to watch. Maybe they knew the Arl would get sick. I don't know. Here, this is a letter from them. It has instructions and everything. Keep it, do whatever you want with it. I just thought I was serving the king and making a bit of coin on the side. You have to believe me. Oh, all right, I'll do it. Thank you for your mercy. I won't forget it. Let's get started. Yes, what can I do for you? Very well.
I see you yet continue to be where you are not welcome. Are you jealous? Is that what this is about? Because I don't think it's for you to decide what I should or should not do. Oh, you may continue on as you have. I am merely informing you that you will suffer the consequences. You forget, Morrigan. I am not without my own pointy ends as well. Do not make promises you cannot keep. I always keep my promises. The talk is cheap. And this, from a bard. Greetings, Grey Warden. I am as relieved as Bantigan is to see you here. I must admit, I do not know how to address an elf in your position. I do not wish to be rude. As you wish, and thank you kindly. I am Sir Perth, until recently in direct service of Arl Eamon of Redcliffe. For now my charge is defending the village from these evil assaults. Would that I had chosen not to seek out the urn of sacred ashes, Perhaps I would have fended off whatever evil befell the castle, or perhaps I would be dead. Ah well, with a great warden aiding our defense, perhaps all is not lost. No one told me of this. Oil, you say? How much exactly? Assuming that would hurt them. Yes, I see what you have in mind. That might be effective, if used carefully. Yes, excellent idea. I'll send some men to collect the oil. We'll use it to slow these creatures down. Have you anything else to ask me in the meantime? We have sufficient armor and weapons, but my knights are too few to stand against the monsters without assistance. Perhaps you could approach Mother Hannah in the Chantry for some holy protection against these evil creatures. Otherwise, I do not know what else you could provide beyond your own talents. We're as prepared for the onslaught as we could possibly be, all things considered. That gladdens my heart to hear it. As you wish, Grey Warden. Make a watch over you. blood and a stranger, yet you defend a home that is not your own. We are grateful for that. Not many in these modern days would honestly say the same. You are a man of worth, and the Maker will smile upon you. Allow me to introduce myself. I am revered Mother Hannah, head of this Chantry which for the moment is a place of refuge for these poor villagers. How awful this must be for you all. Is this everyone who's left? All those who cannot defend themselves, yes. They are terrified of tonight's attack, and I fear these walls will not keep them safe. What can I do to help with your task? I have done all I can for them. I pray for them each night and seek the Maker's forgiveness for their sins before they face their deaths. What Sir Perth seeks is something that is not in my power to give. I can pray with them and give them my blessing. But Sir Perth wants me to call upon the Maker to shield them from evil. Well, can't you just tell him the Maker will watch over him? Morale is a powerful thing, you know. You mean you want me to let them think the Maker protects them in a real sense? I will not lie to them like that. I suppose their belief in the Maker's power could inspire them, but it just seems like trickery. Very well. If it keeps them alive, I will do what I must. I have a number of silver cast holy symbols. Tell Sir Perth that he can have them, and that wearing them will confer the Maker's protection. Now please, let me tend to these poor folk. I must do what I can, and I suggest you do the same.
The Knights of Redcliffe are ready to fight at your disposal. Have you spoken to the revered mother? Has she offered anything? Must we do this? The faith that will protect these men must come from their heart, surely. If they are the same as the symbols worn by their priests, well, that would more than suffice. Of course I do. These are Maker's symbols. What better protection could we ask for? I will send some men to collect the amulets. Please give my regards to Mother Hannah for seeing some sense at last. No, nothing comes to mind. If you have not spoken to the Mayor, Murdoch, you should. His militia is far more in need of aid than we are. As you wish, Grey Warden. Make a watch over you. I hear you got the tavern serving the militia free ale now. While I don't favor my men being drunk come sundown, I suppose it helps morale to have their minds taken off. What's to come? You have my thanks. The repairs are underway surprisingly quickly, considering how drunk Owen is. We may just make it. The men's spirits are high for now. Far better than I expected, to be honest. Dwin's presence makes the men a bit more confident. It helps to know a veteran is on our side tonight. My men are getting free drinks at the tavern. I suppose it's better to drown your fears rather than go mad waiting for certain death. I'm tempted to have a few ales myself. Since you convinced Owen to start repairs, we're pretty well armed now. That is a relief, let me tell you. Overall, I'd say the militia's very ready to fight. Never thought I'd say that, but there you go. Is there anything else? Are you sure? There's still time left if you need to talk with Sir Perth or do anything else. Then good luck to you. You'll need it.
Bring the barricades! We need help! Come on! We need to hurry!
The monsters are attacking from the lake! They're attacking the barricades! We need help! Come on! We need to hurry! Watch for the demons.
dawn arrives, and we survive the night. We are victorious. And though this victory came at great cost, we must remember none of us would be here were it not for the heroism of these good folk beside me. I thank you, good sir. Truly the Maker smiled on us when he sent you here in our darkest hour. Let us bow our heads and give honor to those who gave their lives in defense of Redcliffe. Now they walk with he who is their maker. Long may they know the peace of his love. With the maker's favor, the blow we delivered today is enough for me to enter the castle and seek out your Arl. Be wary and watch for signs of renewed attack. We shall return with news as soon as we are able. Now we've no time to waste. Meet me at the mill. We can talk further there. I'm still amazed we made it through the night in one piece and one. They'll be telling stories about this for years, I bet. Fighting's not over. We still have Darkspawn to battle, and if the Arl sends out the call, I'll be there for him. If you'll excuse me, I think I'll offer the Maker a bit of thanks for not choosing to be a wrathful god today. Good luck to you. I admit, for a while, I didn't think either of us would survive. It's good to see you did. You mean about helping me leave? I... I wouldn't hold you to that. You've already done so much for us. What do you have in mind? What? You jest, surely. Why not simply throw all our coin into the river? Oh, have it your way, then. That could get me to Denerim. What would you want in return for such a gift? <laughs> you men are all the same. Kissing serving wenches now. Perhaps you intend to roll around in the nearest pig pen as well? I suppose that's one way to celebrate. Thank you. I... I can never repay this, but I'll think of a way. I swear.